All right, my problem is number seven, and we are actually using logarithmic functions, and we are taking these logs, and we are trying to find the exact value, and an easy way to do this is setting them into exponential form. And if we have an exponent in the form, well, in this case, log, if we have a log putting it into exponential form, it would be the formula you can use is log okay highlight it so you can see it better Okay, now for the first problem, we have our base of 3. So what we're going to do with that is take our 3. Now how I like to look at this is, this is how I like to look at it. It's kind of like a clock. And you're going 3 raised to what? will equal 9. So 3 3 of x equals 3 raised to what equals 9. Now this is an easy one because we all know 3 raised to the second equals 9. So for this problem this log the answer is 2. And you can check this taking and plugging it into your calculator like this. And as you can see, we get two. So, this is correct. Now the next one is log with a base of 25, and our y is a 5. So how we're going to set this up is take 25, and you can look at it with your clock. 25 raised to what will equal 5. So, obviously we're going from a bigger number to a smaller. So that's your first indicator that it's going to be a fraction. Now we know it's not a negative because negatives actually give you fractions. So we know that this one is going to be a fraction. So what raised to 25 equals 5? answer for this is one half and once again you can check this by going log 5 divided by log of 25 and it does turn out to be one half it turns out to be 0.5 in your calculator so your answer is All right, two more to go. Okay, the next one we have is log 3, and then we have a negative 3. Now, with these, they will never work, because you are actually trying to do 3 to what equals negative 3. And there isn't anything that will get you a negative 3. So for this problem, it is actually undefined. Now for the last problem, we have log of 2 to 1 eighth. So, 2 to what will get you 1 eighth? Now, 
Now, remember I talked about fractions? If you have exponents and you get a fraction, you know that your exponent must be raised to a negative number. So to start out, we know that if you have an exponent and you raise it to a negative, you always have to put that number, you have to put that number under a one. So what raised to two will get you eight? Well, two to the third equals eight. So then two to a negative three would equal one eighth. So log equals a negative three. And that is problem number seven.